Hey, this is Colin Jenkins from Connect the Watts, and today I want to talk about what makes iFit's outdoor scenic rides so good. Because last week I covered Peloton's scenic rides, specifically focusing on their follow along scenic ride classes, which is a new category for them. And although it is great that Peloton is trying new things, these classes had quite a bit of problems with them, specifically around the camera angles and how the whole entire class was produced, all of which made the experience not so great, especially for those who have taken IFIT classes and really know the true potential of what an outdoor scenic ride class can be like. And really, I don't think there are any other companies with the same experience of developing scenic ride classes as iFit. So I want to cover what makes their scenic rides work so well. And before I do that, make sure to hit the subscribe button for the Connect the Watts channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos where we cover all of the latest connected fitness news, reviews, tips, and guides. Now this weekend, I took a few more iFit scenic rides just to really focus on what makes this scenic ride experience work so well. And I think it comes down to just a few things. The first is iFit really doesn't try to make these classes too fancy. They treat them like actual rides. Whereas Peloton seems like they want this to be an entire cinematic experience with different angles above and to the side of the coach while he's talking, zoomed in on their faces, voiceovers, and tons of editing so you're not actually going through an area. It's all kind of cut area to area from one place to the next, which really makes it not feel quite like an actual ride. Whereas iFit really does the opposite. For at least 90 to 95% of the class, it's an unedited viewpoint of a bike rider following a coach while they talk and lead you through a specific trail or area. There's no skipping through certain areas. If there are wide angle shots of the area, they do have those, but they're very short and it doesn't take very long for them to get you right into that bike view behind the instructor. And at other times they might show you a map of your entire trail route and where you are relative to the starting and ending point. But this is very useful during the ride and interesting and it keeps you in the experience. So you feel like you're actually part of the ride rather than just watching a ride. The next thing that iFit does so well with their scenic rides is that they don't just do one in an area. They choose a location for a coach, they send them out there, and they usually create a series. And not only does this series take you all over that location through different trails or different rides, but these series are kind of created in a way that makes sense in a legitimate program. So some days are really hard, maybe it's a real big uphill climb, and other days are a lot easier. Maybe it's a recovery ride, maybe you're going downhill for a bit, or seeing a more scenic site. And I think having that mix of hard training and easier training rides in each location makes it feel like you're actually taking these scenic rides as a training tool rather than just taking them to check out or learn about an area. You get both. And the third thing that helps a lot with these outdoor scenic rides that unfortunately doesn't help everybody is that it is really effective to have that automatic incline and decline function if you have say like the S22i on the bike or if you have one of the treadmills that have that function as well where it automatically you know, increases or decreases the angle based on where you're at in that ride. And honestly, when I first tried it, I thought it was a bit gimmicky, but after using it more and more, it really, really helps because when you're just starting to hit a hill or you're climbing a hill, you don't just get that visual sensation, but you do get a physical sensation of actually going up it. And that really helps with immersion more than you would think. And even more than I thought until I went back and did those Peloton scenic rides, which really just don't have that and just realized how less immersive those rides were because of it. And so I think that incline decline feature, while it might be overrated for say like a studio class, cause that wouldn't really make that much sense for the outdoor scenic rides. I think it very much is a critical piece to feeling like you're actually riding alongside them in a location. Now, I'm not saying iFit is perfect. In fact, it's far from it. They have a lot of issues, but in terms of how they produce, film, and edit their outdoor scenic rides, I really think they have it down and on point. The biggest issues for iFit mostly have to do with how their UI works, how the system is not super cohesively built together as well as it should, and to be honest, the biggest problem by far for any ride with iFit is their music. 
Their music is horrendously terrible. And I'm not even a music guy. Like I don't even need to listen to music much during my workouts. And you really don't have to do much with music to please me. I'm fine with almost any genre or type. But the radio station that iFit uses for all of its classes is really, really bad and repetitive. It's just the same music over and over again. And it's just not really well designed or built into that the rides you are taking. And the way to really solve this is you just turn the music off because what iFit allows is you can take the music out of the way while still listening to the instructor. And then you turn your own music on on a Bluetooth speaker to the side. But the problem with that is if you listen to headphones like me, because often I'll ride the bike uh, with my daughter sleeping or I don't want to be super loud, then that doesn't really work because I'll have to either choose to listen to the instructor or listen to music because I definitely don't want to listen to that radio station any anymore and I don't want to keep bagging on it but it's so bad that it brings that whole experience from like a 9 out of 10 to like a 6 or 7 out of 10 and in fact I wouldn't even suggest any of my friends do anything involved with iFit if I know that they're really into music because I know they'll just have a miserable time listening to that damn radio station over and over so if they could just fix that and pair that with their excellent scenic rides which they I mean because they're outdoors the music issue doesn't even have to do with the the filming and the editing and the coaching of these outdoor rides i feel like that whole team is getting a big disservice because this bad music is being put on top of their classes which is very unfortunate now i know ifit is a growing company so i hope that they start to invest some more money into developing some sort of system to allow for better music playlists alongside their classes but we'll just have to wait and see. But again, because they're not fancy, because you're just following the coach behind them and you're feeling like you're part of this ride in this location and there's not these ginormous amounts of time spent in panoramic shots or it, it just a much, much tighter, better experience that iFit has created for their scenic rides. And I hope they continue to expand upon it, which it looks like they are and have been doing for quite a number of years now. In fact, for those with like a treadmill or elliptical, I know they released a whole like 18 part series where you trek up to a base camp on Mount Everest, which I think is really cool. I actually have a treadmill coming, so I am going to definitely be checking that series out. And I hope Peloton can also take a lot out of what iFit is doing in their scenic rides and apply it to their own because Peloton could do really well with having their specific coaches with the personalities and the love that they have for that program if they could apply just some of the basics of filming and editing and how to create an enjoyable outdoor scenic ride experience I think they would be killing it in that category as well but of course we'll just have to wait and see everything is always evolving for these two companies they're always getting better and it's always exciting to see what they have in the pipeline coming next but of course, I want to hear your thoughts. If you've used the iFit Scenic Rides, let me know what you think about them. If you did the Peloton Scenic Rides, let me know what you think about those as well. Post it in the comments, like the video if you enjoyed it because it helps the channel out a ton. Thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.